Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and let's continue playing as the Union of Socialist American States. Right now what you're going to watch me do is turn everything that or when I'm making all my ships they will deploy to Massachusetts. I thought this might just be a good idea since this will be the main area where we will build up a new naval fleet except for subs. Uh, it's already on Massachusetts, that's fine. Um, I've technically already played this first part a little earlier because you'll see that the game lags horrendously uh, when uh, I'll give you a little reason why Russia is dying Russia is dying extremely quickly currently Russia is 99% of the way towards capitulation and it will make the game lag extremely hard so that's basically why I want to warn you now about any sort of Fade in, fade out effect coming in the near future. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, right now, it apparently is lagging. So actually, speak of the devil, I am going to go ahead and phase this out. And then I will see you in just a little bit once this is taken care of. And yeah, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, yeah, the peace conference took freaking forever to do. Uh, it took so long that I literally left my computer for about half an hour and didn't realize that it's February 23rd, 1945. So, but we're, we're back and we can actually move forward from here on out. Our war justification against Brazil is all ready to go. We have about a month until we can no longer do that. But since we spent a lot of time away and now we have to basically figure out what we're going to do here. 1945, uh, industry is pretty good, we got enough oil, obviously, at least for now, uh, let's see, ooh, air docking stuff, yeah, we could really do, probably do that, and then a couple extra divisions, six more divisions can be thrown onto Oliver Law's group, awesome, and yeah, alright then, um, let's see, cool, totalists, and we can select a focus next. Probably dictatorship for the proletariat. Everything we have achieved so far has been won with violence and force. The bourgeoisie thought still clinging to America cannot be voted away. It cannot be debated or discussed away. It must be simply destroyed. How else can anything take its place? If we tolerate the past, their actions are treason and the committee, the judge. Awesome. Cool. Cool. So, right now we have... Ooh, we need to split up this naval fleet. I did this before, but then the game decided to freeze on me. Cool. Uh, let's give him just a bunch of... Ooh, that's a little bit too many. Hold on, let's redo that. Too many cruisers. Four or five is good enough, and then we'll take a bunch of destroyers. Cool. So now we have technically three fleets over here. And how is this looking? Right now, we currently have... Honestly, it looks like we have enough to make another fleet. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and add you on here then. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this is, isn't great. Uh, let's see. Let's change you to... Where is it? There you are. Recon, kind of. But now we have a Dreadnought here with a bunch of screens as well. For these guys, you guys, I need you to immediately go to the Caribbean Sea. Well, actually, you really don't need to be in the Caribbean Sea. So that'll be good. And then subs are chilling out. Hanging out, having a good time. I'm actually going to tell them to... I don't know. I'm going to suppose I could do maybe some convoy raiding around the coasts. But I don't think it'll really matter very much, so... That's fine enough for now. Give our guys some time to put themselves in those positions. And we shall launch going ahead. Wow, we got a crap ton of political power. Yeah, we can't, still can't go to war economy. Kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, the Third International it has done extremely well. Uh, obviously, the Japanese faction has a good chunk of South Africa. Uh, for some reason, they really, really loved the Middle East, even though the Arabian Social Republic is in the Third International, completely surrounded by Japanese-led countries, including Oman, Yemen, or I guess Mashriq. Oh, wait, that's Mashriq? Oh, that's disgusting. Um, I did mess around with this just a little... There we go. Did mess around with this just a little bit, seeing as, actually, Japan had some territory in Belarus... And this area around here where Jerusalem and Amman was, was originally part of Japan. So I just kind of flipped those guys around. Uh, 
I, I want them to liberate Syria because that would probably make the most sense. But oh well. Oh my God, I did not realize Caucasian trans, trans Caucasian socialist republic. Oh my goodness, that is amazingly terrible. Fuck all. What? A Turkish what? Wait, Turkish commune has core on that. The Ottomans have a core on this. Uh, that's still the Turkish commune. This is disgusting. What is this flag? Uh, you know what? They're still fighting the members of the Entente. So you know what I'm going to do right here? I'm going to flip this around. You will transfer this over. And that is lagging. A core. And then I'll transfer this over here. Just balance things out. And let's see. The population was half, less than half a million. This is a little bit more, but doesn't really matter. And this is another puppet within the Third International. And honestly... Let's reduce some of the lag here. So Mark, 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 and Mark. I don't know anyone named Mark right now. Cool. Is this a core? Yes, it is. Is this a core? Awesome. Nice. That makes them a little bit stronger. Uh, I guess the Alash Orda's back. And they're in the third international. Man. Oh, my goodness. Socialist Republic of Turkestan. And, of course, we have Soviet Russia under Mikhail Khrunze. Oh, the Radical Socialists. Interesting. Red Guard Militias? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Transamir, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to let you keep that. I'm actually going to transfer this over to here. And we'll, we will compensate the Transamir people. Wait, the Finnish Socialist Workers Republic has a claim. God, Norway got a little thick up here. Oh, this, oh that's disgusting. It's a Swedish commune. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't like how this looks... But I'm not going to change it, whatever. And because of what we gave Transamir away, we're going to actually give this to them. Kind of give them exchange worthless territory. So, there you go. That's a little bit more balanced. And obviously, the Feng Chin government is doing very well. Very, very well. They will be one hell of a enemy to fight. A lot of manpower, quite a few divisions. And at this point, I believe that we should be able to go to war with Brazil. So... All right, guys, whenever you are ready to go, please launch accordingly. So, because even though you are not our final target, we do want to attack the South American Federation and then attack the Feng Chin government, or I guess the Japanese government, and then, then we'll call it a campaign, which will take a couple more days. Probably nine, ten more days in total. So, let's go ahead and go to war. And we have done it. We have done it. Call all of our allies in. Hopefully, they the Brazilians don't join anyone else. We've begun our attack on Brazilian soil. They have a lot of guys here, 13 divisions. We're attacking with nine. However, the Brazilian military is okay. Quite a few divisions, a little bit of manpower. A few ships, not not bad. We are not winning the initial battle, which is fine. I didn't think we would. Uh, you guys are operating in assigned fleet areas. Oh, so you are literally escorting ships. You are divisions over there. Awesome. Oh, and are we actually winning now? Cool. Wow, we got a lot of factories compared to them, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Definitely, definitely see what happens. Carriers are moving in. Dreadnoughts are moving in with cruiser support. And dr destroyer support as well. Awesome. Oh, I guess we have low manpower. Uh, what level are we at? Oh, limited conscription? Oh, we'll go to... Oh, estimated enemies ra strength, strength ratio 50% or more compared to our army. I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Ooh, did something happen? Did someone get liberated? Yes. Oh, Syria. Oh, my goodness. You are a little thick. Wow. You have Sinai as a core state? I have never heard of Syria claiming Sinai Peninsula. Honestly, you should have just given everything to Mashriq. That probably would have been made a lot more sense. Hold on. What the heck? Oh, Bulgaria's got that. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, you know what, I'm actually going to, since you have, since you have Constantinople, Bulgaria, I'm going to give this to Greece, since it, this makes more sense for Greece to have it, because they already have, you know, a, a large amount of territory over here. Uh, maybe they should have cores on this. They don't have cores on this area, but maybe they should. Maybe, maybe the, they have decisions to make them cores later on. But, whatever. I do know that France is almost out of fuel, which is not good for them. Poland worked, got a lot of territory. The Germans didn't get anything, which makes sense. 
But the Poles, they got all of... A whole crap a ton of territory, including a good chunk of the Ukraine. And a little portion of Romania and all of Lithuania. It's the Kingdom of Poland, so you know what? We'll make sure that they, uh... Or basically the Kingdom of Poland, Lithuania. There you go. And they're authoritarian Democrats. Even though they're a puppet of the Commune of France without a king. Oh, what is this? Latvia? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is something I wanted to avoid earlier, but we guess we cannot. It's a weird name. Escolata Republic, and then Estonian Social Republic makes sense. So, the unthinkable has happened. Smedley Butler has gathered supporters among the unions and marched into Washington, D.C., uh, denouncing Earl Browder as a tyrant and dictator. Oh, no. Uh, the rest of America watches with bated breath to see what happens in Washington, Earl Browder. Uh has responded by calling as many allies in the military, including the Red Guards, to seize the traitorous generals before the revolution dies, fighting another MacArthur. The Vanguard's forces, wearing the same uniforms as Butler's forces, have eagered or engaged in a chaotic fight within the capital. Through the friendly fire and threatening mortars, what has happened? We're at war right now, and if I do this, we become rational, s rational socialists? No, no such thing as rational socialists. Radical socialists, no. We don't want to become radical socialists. Uh, and we're in the middle of the war, Butler... Why? Why? I needed you for this. You were level 8. You had so many good traits. God dang it. Come on, man. Ugh. Jeez. Actually, let me see the details of height key. He might actually be good to do this. He has two more areas that he could be using for that. He'll get, not get infantry expert. Oh, but he might be get general max army size group. Oh, I'm going to promote height key. I think he, he probably deserves a job. That's fine. And he still keeps a lot of this stuff, which is great. I'm going to go with Expert Delegator, as well as I would love Unyielding Defender. I think that'd be great. Logistics Wizard, since we're fighting there. Oh! Cool. Awesome. Uh, well, sorry about your general. You have Edward A. Carter Jr. now. Uh, actually, you should probably not help attack. You should probably just stay here and just kind of Wing it. Alright, let's get rid of that stuff. You three come over here. Go right ahead, and then you three just kind of stay over here. One half of you come over here. And I need one of you guys to make it over down here. We're going to try to cut these guys off. Actually, try and tease us. Since you're kind of already over here, I'm going to put you here, and you're going to be doing a lot of jungle work. Uh, do you have anything over here, Tiza? No? Cool. Nice. We're winning the battle now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And have we landed successfully yet? Perhaps we have. Awesome. I want you guys down here. Immediately move this way. Go into here. We have this area also taken out. Great, 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 great. You know what? I'm going to actually tell everyone to come to this side over here. And just do the best job you possibly can. Nice. Now you have orders now. I'm going to command you guys to come down here as well and move out this way my goal is to eventually have one large united front so Ooh, m12s and that is a tank a heavy tank glorious 1945 uh, better fighters better uh, probably carrier naval bombers could be useful potentially 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 you come this way i want you over here It'll take these guys some time to get over here, but, you know, whatever. Also, between this episode and the next, I'm probably going to stage some sort of war between the Third International and the Co-Prosperity Sphere, and to see how they duke it out in a land war against each other, especially in Asia and the Middle East, and potentially in the Southeast Asian Sphere of Interests. Oh, they're getting attacked, and we're not doing so well. 
Okay, then. Alright. Doing alright in other places. Uh, advanced landing craft. Awesome. 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 246. Industry. Sure, let's go with more extraction, because why not? Rubber. I don't think we need any extra rubber from the Barty economy. Thank you very much for your contributions. Chromium. We might actually have enough ships now. Modern cruisers. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Do we have cruiser five? Oh, I think base game vanilla only has four, or up to four. Secondary batteries can be still improved. Level five cruiser, thank God. Let's get some radar on these boys. And then anti-air is still pretty garbage, but that's all right. Rapid fire guns, light cruiser battery threes. That's better than twos. Let's do that. Uh, I think, yeah, you're still a two. You're a light rapid fire battery. That's fine with me. Here... Oh, we already have that. Yeah, that's right. Um, let's get some more anti-air since I used a lot of anti-air on those guys. Play manipulation. Reliability will go way down. No, thank you. Uh, I'm not going to put torpedoes. We have one, two things for anti-air. I think we've got enough light attack and enough light piercing. I don't want to do anti-subs because that's really for my destroyers. I could put on torpedoes. Could, that could actually be okay. A little more torpedo attack. Slightly slower, but more torpedo attack sounds pretty good to me. Let's see. Actually, and I'm going to put you under here for one. One. Improve light cruiser. And then improve light ship. Oh, naval bombers. Make better of those. Awesome. And let's go ahead and make some advanced cruisers, modern cruisers. There we go, my friends. To Massachusetts. Uh, let's see. Modern Dreadnoughts. Can we get any better Modern Dreadnoughts? We need to have better radar now. We won't get any better Super Heavy Armor 4. Jesus. That's awesome. Oh, and we do have an extra slot here. I forgot about that. Well, it's already 24 speed. Uh, there goes the Kingdom of France. If I do another Super Heavy Battery, that lowers it down to 21, which is, in my opinion, probably just a little bit too slow. So, a secondary battery or anti-air? Anti-air doesn't slow you down. Let's do that since it'll probably help to fight against enemy planes. Put a modern dreadnought on, please. Thank you very much. Do that. And also put you in Massachusetts. Cool. Lots of political power. War propaganda against Brazil. Well, we already have 100% war support, so not too interested in that. We have two more destroyers in... Massachusetts, which is which is great, great, great. Oh, we're getting, oh, we're getting beat back, beaten back a little bit. Let's see. We might need some better infrastructure, and by might I mean we definitely do need better infrastructure. Uh, let's see. Oh, you definitely need some supplies down here, and I'll put some supplies here as well as over here. Give me one guy. You can come over there. Cool. Well, let's see. How has the war gone so far? We've lost 41,000 men. But the Brazilians have lost about 87,000. Interesting. Very interesting. You could send one division from this side to help attack as well. Maybe you'll win. Maybe you'll kick them in the mouth. Kick them in the teeth. You know, all that good stuff. Uh, we are still coming down from this angle, which is great, great, great. Brazil, what is your military statistics like? About the same amount of manpower as we left you. Uh, up to 105 divisions, pretty standard, as I think the rest of our guys are still trying to make it down. It seems like someone might be getting released or annexed or something like that. Oh, we definitely need more, more, more <clears throat> logistic companies, more supplies, and things like that through here. Alright, Brazil is quite not fun to fight through. It's getting very laggy, but that's probably because the Kingdom of France is fighting several different uh, fights. We'll put it like that. For now, just... Oh, the Great Sedition Trial of 1945. The only person to discuss President Browder more than Huey Long's populism is Harry Leland Mitchell's betrayal of the unions. Hmm, gotta love water. 
The USAS has strategically kept silent over the status of the Southern Tenant Farmers Union and has been slowly accruing defectors that refuse to leave America. Now this long con has paid off and a group have trusted congressmen have smuggled Townsend back into America under the pretense of reconciliation. Townsend was immediately arrested in the first bugged hotel room he stayed in and has become the main attraction in the largest union trial in American history. Townsend's fate has already been sealed, but this trial will hopefully discourage any more dissidents within the IWW from thinking any reactionary thoughts. Ah, uh, I love stability. And now we must defend the revolution from potential reactionaries. The best defense is a great offense, right? Exactly. Oh my gosh. The, the uh, supply situation down here must be so garbage. Mm, do that there too. Let's get some more supply down here. And how are our logistic companies? We're making the next batch so we suffer less supply issues. Great. Good, 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 good. You guys are doing an awesome job. You guys, actually, I'm probably going to have to put you towards the left side or the more western side over here. Because I do want a massive united front fighting the Brazilians. So, we'll definitely have to see how we do with that. Alright, stop. Stop doing that, guys. Yeah, that's not cool. Free, Jesus, so many free dockyards. Just keep making me more convoys. I can always trade them away. Oh, wait, but we've been probably making quite a few good ships. Modern Dreadnought. Wait, Modern Dreadnought... Hull A2, yeah, that's probably the one we want. We go to Massachusetts. Just keep making me a ton of dreadnoughts. Because I'm going to need them against Japan anyways. Massachusetts. And then we set up to Massachusetts. Awesome. And awesome. Give me some more uh, destroyers. Oh, we're going to need so much chromium. It's not even funny. Destroyers, interwar, improved light cruiser, light, improved light ship hull. Yeah, there's really not much we've done with destroyers. At least they're to help discourage other ships from, at or at least subs from attacking these guys. Alright, and then alright. Towards Massachusetts. And let's get some chromium from the West Indies Federation. Oh, we're going to need a lot of steel. Jesus. Um, Socialist Republic of Ukraine. Uh, I don't want to pay a lot for it. You can send that much. I still need civilian factories to build all this stuff here. Nice, nice, nice. Casualties are looking a little high right now, but that's pretty much the price we have to pay to do this. You know what, Oliver Law, it's now your turn to come down here. Alright, now you're coming down here. Great. War propaganda against Brazil. Nah, I don't need to do that. Alright, any day now. They like attacking us, but they're not doing super great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oliver Law, how long will it take you to come down here? It'll take you a while. Definitely take you a while. I think Brazil is mobilizing. A couple oh, they're on scraping the barrel. They, have, they definitely are mobilizing. Unfortunately, we will have to mobilize, or I will have to use some sort of console command to make sure I get to extensive conscription. So, that's going to be unfortunate. Yeah, take like one guy to help you out to push this direction if you need it. Nice. I guess you have to have a little bit of help. Take some people from Michigan to help out. Great, 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 great. Oh, and Colombia's attacking from this other side. I did not realize that. We're probably more of our allies. Oh, baby, this lag. Oh, revolutionary Colombia. You're doing okay. Not great. But, you know, I don't think anyone's really doing that great around here. Oh, you have attack like a crazy person. Oh, you all have attack like a crazy person. I wonder the casualties are so high. All right. Well, good to know. Very good to know. Very, very good to know. Push back. That's okay. We can push them further back later on. Casualties, 134,000 versus a quarter million. Not bad. That's really not too bad. Awesome. And the Japanese have canceled their non-aggression pact. How lovely. Oh, boy. 
Um, can, can I join the Third International now, please? No? Okay. Oh, they're still fighting Ireland. What the heck? How have you not invaded Ireland already? Huh. Oh, carry bombers and naval plane stuff. Great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're set on one. Thank you. You're also set on one. And carrier naval bombers get an upgrade. Cool. All but you, and then you attack this direction. Ooh, Oliver Law, do you have an upgrade? Mm, kind of. Improved expert in moving around. But other than that, not really. You guys want to help out, maybe? Maybe not. If you don't, that's cool, I understand. Infrastructure is kind of crap around here. Okay, you can't even help either. Okay, whatever. Uh, for you guys... Hmm, you guys are deploying, which is kind of nice to see. Alright, we are producing a few nukes. We do have three nuclear reactors. I don't want to bomb Brazil yet, just because when you do, uh, yeah, it ruins infrastructure, and I don't want to ruin the infrastructure yet. I mean, it's not like I'm attacking Japan yet, so. Saving a couple nukes for Japan. Alright, go ahead when you can. You'll be a great help in when we want and need to push. Uh, six more divisions. Well, throw them on there. Take two. And throw them on here. We have to conserve a little bit more manpower, so I'm going to do that. And we have a total of 34 divisions here. We need 86. Well, now we only need 41. Because we're going to need some help defending every single one of these islands down here. Holding on to each and every single one of these islands is going to be crucial to my plan against the Japanese. Please, guys. With them canceling with their non-aggression packs in mass is making me somewhat question their motives. It's always a little worrisome when people you know, cancel their non-aggression packs. But at least we got better logistic companies now. And hopefully we won't be suffering nearly as much attrition, which is great. Take half of you guys, help attack over here. You can probably help attack as well. Oh, we're definitely making them pay for defending their own lands. Ah, America. Cut them off, and then swallow them up, and have one big old front to attack them. Right. Uh, y'all? Could y'all do something like that? Oh, yeah, you might be able to do that. Do, do that. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I should really focus on tanks. So many non-aggression packs getting cancelled. They're international, please. You have no reason to attack me. I'll, if anything, I want to support you. Go ahead and help attack. You move up through there. You move on up through here. Help them out as well. Crush them. And then we might be able to form like one massive front line through here. But probably not since... A lot of you guys are on the wrong side. Um, yeah. If I have to abandon this area, that's fine with me, as long as we can continue pushing up another direction. Cool, very good, very good. Come on, move on over here now. Great, they're gone. Well, kind of gone. Alright, just don't attack me, Third International. I've done nothing wrong. Except help liberate the workers. It's the only crime you can get me of. Liberating the workers. Alright, so. Come on, take this area, and then... And then we'll have a great time. Good, 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 good. Alright, so I've got to call some sort of audible here. I think, honestly, for right now... I'm going to cancel all this. Cancel all of these individual attacks... This is probably not going to be good. We're going to lose a little bit of territory, especially in the west. But I'm going to tell everyone to come over here. And then we'll attack that way. And I'm actually going to move you over here. Which does hurt this area a little bit, but we do have some allies over here. My goal is really attack the eastern side more. Because that's where I think where more of the population is. As well as more of their command points so we can take out Rio de Janeiro and stuff like that. But when you guys are good to go, go right ahead. If you want to push... Through either side to get to the other side of Brazil. That is fine with me. Nice. We got a lot of good all heavy fighters. Oh, that's awesome. That's really, really good. 
Let's see. Oh, your airbase is sucked, though, Brazil. No wonder you can't defend yourself. Your air power sucks. Cool. Come down here, and I'm going to add in another... Screw it. I don't want to go down too far south to look about how everyone's planes are doing. So, that's pretty much where we're going to leave Brazil for now. Uh, for right now, these convoy, or these, what is this, naval invasion support can go to patrols and then go down there as well. And right now, what we're going to do is deploy a ton of planes in the Pacific. Because we've been building up a lot of support, or air bases around here. We're going to need all of these air bases to be extremely good. Especially the Pacific Islands that are fairly close to Japan itself. For you guys, I'm not going to put too many here. Oh, this is killing my manpower. Forgot about that. And then probably right here. Oh, we're out of heavy fighters. God dang it. Uh, well, we got to wait for that then. Oh, we got a lot of nice tactical bombers. Jesus, that's awesome. Let's go and deploy a couple more. 400. Oh, Eastern Seaboard. What the heck? Naval bombers. Presidential election of 1945. The presidential election of 1945 is here with much fanfare. As expected, Earl Browder is in the lead, but as the government has promised a fair and open election, it is anyone's guess as to who will win after the debates and all the campaigning is done. Who will emerge victorious? Oh, look. It's still Earl Browder. Great. Love it. I love democracy. Cool. Um, Naval bombers. I'm going to get all of you guys. And you all come. Doesn't really matter. Come over here. You guys stay, move here. Cool. I wanted to deploy some of them tactical bombers, which I just passed up. Great. Do that, that, and that. Oh, we found some enemy planes. Ooh, that's not good. And it looks like we are doing A. Okay, around these areas. How long would it take to go to with war with someone like Ecuador, Paraguay, or one of the damn countries? Oh, it's going to take a while. Uh, I'm not going to go to war with them yet, since we're not extremely far into Brazil, but we are making our way down here regardless. Uh, but with that in mind, though, that's pretty much it for the time that we have today, guys. So, with that in mind, you know what? Let's go ahead and justify on our enemies. Because we'll probably get there before we know it, actually. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and subscribe since we sunk five enemy Brazilian ships. And if you already subscribed, thank you very much for your subscription. Well, that guy's mine. That mine, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow.